Yo, Sab. So join me for my day in Canada. I've only arrived here a few days ago. The weather has been nice to me. It is so sunny at the daytime. It's just that it's a bit windy at times. And being a starter, first thing I would have to go to the bank and open an account. The staff was so nice. We talked for an hour. A lot of staff can actually speak Cantal, Mandarin, and English. So that's just amazing. After that, I'm going to see a friend. So I went to the underground TTC. It costs like three dollars per ride, but you can go anywhere within two hours. Now I'm at North. Center going to the Dundas, which is the downtown area. Yay! TDC looks so different than the one in Hong Kong. They're a lot slower, and, and there is not really a lot of internet connection underground. So I started reading, and definitely is giving me a peace of mind. I can finally hey for a while without looking at my phone. So far, my conclusion is that Jane Austen definitely loves toxic relationships and drama. And while I was waiting to meet a friend, I accidentally slipped into Winners. So I heard from my friends that this is the best place to shop. And a lot of things are actually one of a kind, so I'm definitely liking it. So many options. I saw this beautiful brown jacket and also the black one, but because I'm so broke, I can only pick one. Talking about life with an international student, I settled with the brown one after half an hour, all because it has a hat. So I finally met up my friends. We went to IKEA for food. We were starving. My friend said the meatball is better in Canada than the ones in Hong Kong, so I have to try it. And after that, we just wandered around. These are my witch houses. It's just a matter of time that they are actually mine. Poor kitty gone missing. We walked for a bit. We went to this place called Krispy Kreme, which is recommended by my friend. So look at all these ultimate diabetes, but I'm not complaining. We ordered two of them, and one of them is the raspberry fillings, and the other one is just the original one. I like how soft the texture is and how sugary it is. We were definitely craving. It was so chill and peaceful outside. We were supposed to be going to Chinatown, but we ended up talking. Talking the whole day until 8 p.m. and we headed to the station to finish to grab some dinner. And here we caught the full moon. And now we got this pizza for $11 only, and it was freshly made. At 11 p.m., we were finally heading home. So see you guys next time. Bye.